Philadelphia is right for you. New larger size now available. Baby, baby, baby. I'm coming home to your tender sweet love in your mouth. One and only one. Mel strikes again. <laughs> Mark Helkenberger guest stars on Under the Dome. Ready when you are. Season premiere Thursday, June 25th. Tonight, Benton Police pushing the importance of gun safety, and they've got some dramatic reasons why. Plus, four city police are not in agreement with legislators' interpretations of Arkansas's open carry law. And after a judge rules in favor of same-sex marriage licenses in Arkansas, couples are moving forward. Your news starts now. Now, from Arkansas's News and Information Center, this is THV 11 News at 10. Gun owners in Benton beware. Police now warning about continued gun theft in the area. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Monteverdi. And I'm Craig O'Neill. And this story you're about to see comes with ways to keep from being victimized as we go to THV 11's Macy Jenkins. Well, Craig and Laura, more and more Arkansans are openly carrying their guns, but that means more of them are being misplaced and some stolen in plain sight. Benton police concerned about gun theft on the rise. We started looking at the statistics as far as uh, the number of firearms that have been stolen out of vehicles in the last year and a half. In the past 18 months, Lieutenant Kevin Russell says 29 guns have been stolen from cars in the area. 14 of those were unlocked and then a number of those others were unable to be determined and could have possibly have been unlocked. But theft is not the only problem. In some cases, it's the gun owners who've misplaced their weapons in vacant homes and apartments and even in restaurants. Make sure that you're safe uh, when you use it. Make sure you keep it in the correct holster at all times and secured so that somebody can't take it off of you immediately. But what if you can't take that gun with you everywhere you go? It's important to keep something like this inside of your car, a safe, so you can lock it up at a moment's notice. John Douglas has been working at Wild Man Arms and Outfitters for years. There definitely are more firearms out there in vehicles because people are now getting a lot more uh, concealed carry license. And with more people openly carrying guns, more and more of those guns now missing. His best advice, if you can't keep an eye on your gun, keep it out of sight from everyone else. Uh, what we would recommend would be a uh, steel container with a, a combination lock on it that is actually bolted into the floor of the vehicle where you have to have more than just uh, basic tools to get into it. Now, if your gun is stolen or even misplaced, the best thing to do is contact police as soon as possible. They can track that serial number and hopefully get that gun back to you as soon as possible. Craig and Laura. All right, Macy, thank you. Now, as for the Forest City Police Department, they say there is nothing in Arkansas Legislative Act 746 that allows for carrying a loaded handgun in public. Arkansas's Lieutenant Governor, Attorney General and Governor agree open carry is legal as long as there's no intent to commit a crime. But for city says those legislators don't supersede the Supreme Court, so until the federal law is changed to allow open carry, they won't support it. Now it's currently the practice of the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office and several others to not make an arrest solely for openly carrying a firearm but to determine an arrest based on criminal intent. Now, Little Rock's police chief misplaces one of his service weapons and gets a reprimand from the city manager. Chief Kenton Buckner said in part, quote, everyone will be held accountable for their actions within this agency, including the chief. He recently moved from his corporate apartment to a new house after being on the job for a little less than a year. That's when he discovered his MXL 325 Glock handgun was nowhere to be found. Hopefully it, it won't show up in the hands of anyone. This isn't the first time that this has happened. This is department. Uh, so occasionally city equipment is lost and then we do do an investigation and generally speaking, uh, if there is negligence on the part of any of us, any city employee, they will get disciplined for it. 
Chief Buckner also said, I have no reason to believe a crime occurred, but cannot be certain the serial number will be entered into a national crime database so it can be tracked and hopefully returned. The chief has already paid $457 to the city for the cost of the gun. We're enjoying summertime. Best way to put it. What, 80 degrees in the weather garden right now? Very humid, no wind, very, very much like middle of June. Here's a look at the uh, satellite radar. Not any rain showing up in our state. Not really expecting any tonight. Big area high pressure just to our east, really keeping things kind of quiet, keeping all the major weather to our west and off toward our north. So with that said, we will stay with another very quiet and muggy night. Look at these numbers still in the low 80s and upper 70s, just about statewide, still 83 over in Fort Smith. Tonight's low 72 and on Thursday, a high of 93, slight chance of rain at 20%. Rain chances do again gradually increase toward the weekend. We'll have the rest of that forecast coming up. Ed, thank you. After a judge rules more than 500 same sex marriage licenses issued in Arkansas last, last May are valid. Those couples are moving forward now. This includes receiving benefits they're eligible for after waiting more than a year. Laura Monteverdi has more on the decision and what it means for one couple in particular. Laura? Well, Judge Wendell Griffin's decision yesterday means these same-sex married couples can now do all the things heterosexual married couples do, whether it's filing taxes jointly or enrolling together on state health insurance. Benefits they say they've long been waiting for. Just total excitement, basically, that um, finally at the state level it's recognized. It's been a long 14 months for Stacy Carpenter and her wife, Jonna. The couple is among 500 same-sex couples in Arkansas that received the news on Tuesday that their marriage is now legally recognized in the state. They said, I do, more than a year ago. And it was a surprise. I mean, we want it to happen, but it's, it's a surprise that you know, it did happen. With that recognition come the benefits, just like any other married couple has. All same-sex couples who receive marriage licenses May 10th through May 16th of last year can now file joint income tax returns, apply for state health insurance, and something Jonna and Stacy look forward to, have the right to visit their spouse in the hospital, something they were once denied. I feel like there were more questions about letting me back there. Um, if I had just been a spouse, you know, on paper, signing the spouse, that wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Even though the ruling opens new doors for couples like Jonna and Stacy, they say the fight isn't over until the same ruling is made at the federal level. Fingers are crossed, of course, but I, I feel very confidently that that's how it's going to go, and, and eventually we're all going to have to accept it and accept us. We just finally get to be like everybody else. Now, Griffin's ruling doesn't apply to every county since some never recognized Pulaski County Circuit Court Judge Chris Piazza's ruling in the first place, saying that same-sex marriage was unconstitutional. The state will have to appeal if it wants that decision overturned. The search for a suspected killer continues tonight in Faulkner County. Travis Watson is the prime suspect in the death of James Buddy Land. Deputies say Land died from blunt force trauma to the head after a man came into his home last night. Land was watching over two kids at the time when he was killed. It was his 49th birthday. The children found his body and went to the neighbors who called police. Land and Watson allegedly knew each other. He was down here about a week ago. We had this talk, said hi. He gave me a hug and he gave my wife a hug. And I know that the uh, Land family is going to need us and, uh, and we'll be here for them. Chief suspect once again, Travis Watson, 5'11", about 190 pounds, has red hair. He was last seen driving a tan car with a red driver's side door. He's considered armed and dangerous. A couple arrested in Bryant for pretending to be DEA agents and robbing a group of teens. Around 945 last night, a group of teens say a couple claiming to be undercover narcotics officers made them get out of their car at the McDonald's on Highway 184 to search them because they say they smelled marijuana. When the teens said they were calling police, the couple took off. Officers found them a short time later. Suspects are identified as Ryan Christine Sollers and Timothy Deshun Baker. Both face charges of robbery and criminal impersonation. They're being held on a $25,000 bond each. 
Well, Captain Eric Webb is the new Searcy Chief of Police. The 50-year-old captain has been with the department for 27 years. Former Police Chief Jeremy Clark resigned in March after being served a search warrant during an arson investigation dealing with his grandmother's home a year ago. ATF officials discovered evidence suggesting Clark abused power, violated federal firearms, and controlled substance laws. That investigation is ongoing. A global provider of customer service is coming to Sherwood. They're going to hire 300 new employees. Teletech is holding a job fair next week to hire customer service and sales representatives, as well as licensed health care insurance sales agents. The company says they'll cover the cost of licensed training and exam fees for pre-qualified applicants. For more information on the job fair, head to THB11.com. July 13th, residents of the Pulaski County community known as Little Italy will attend an incorporation hearing to become Arkansas's 501st town. The community needed to get 200 verified signatures on their official township petition. They got 220. The hearing before the Pulaski County judge set for Monday, July 13th, 2 p.m. Everyone welcome to attend. Well, this Friday, Little Rock's Fire Department Fire Safety Dog will Skype with children from Kenya. Molly will be conducting the 199th Skype visit with students from Cheery Children's Education Center in Nairobi, Kenya. The students will see their first American fire station and fire trucks. Firefighters will also dress out in their gear. The Fire Safety Dog Skype program, established in 2012, aims at helping to reduce fire-related deaths and injuries among children and their families. A family in Saline County is asking everyone to come to a service tomorrow in honor of their daughter. Six-year-old Malia Estridge died Monday after battling a rare brain tumor. The service is tomorrow at 1 p.m. at the Northside Church of Christ in Benton. Anyone attending is asked not to wear black. And in lieu of flowers, the family asks you to donate to the Cure Starts Now Foundation. At bat with the Hogs, brought to you by Razorback Campers. Oh, you know what the Arkansas baseball team has? A versatile lineup. One through nine, the Hogs lineup has been shuffled. Andrew Benintendi has his spot in the number three hole. Otherwise, the mix-up is working. Every player has had their moment to shine this season. Meanwhile, many are calling the Hogs underdogs heading into the College World Series. But the players say, hey, why not us? I mean, we're, we're not going in there thinking that uh, we're underdogs by any mean. We're just going in there just as a scrappy team that um, is going to put their heart on the field and play as hard as they can. And you know what? It's, it's Omaha. I've seen everything happen, and anything can happen there. The Hogs' first game is against Virginia on Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock. Stay with us. We'll be right back. THV 11 weather is sponsored by Gildner Auto Group in Arkadelphia. Hi, I'm Neil Gildner with Gildner Auto Group in Arkadelphia. At Gildner, it's not all about the sale. It's about relationships. Most of us have good reasons for where we bank and where we shop for the things we need. And somewhere on that list is where you shop for your next new vehicle. Just like me and old Moon here. I had to earn his trust. At Gilner Auto Group, we don't just sell you new vehicles. We want to earn your business. THV 11 is all about sharing life in Arkansas, and now it's easier to share your photos. Just download or update your THV 11 app for your iPhone or Android, and you're one click away from connecting with Arkansas. This is the mom biz, and ladies, it's showtime. You've got soccer practice, swim meets, drum lessons, play dates, and all the other stuff that keeps your family humming. But you know what matters? The healthy stuff. Full tummies. That's why you've got Lando Frost Premium Lunch Meat, a simple, protein-packed, good-form lunch. And that's how you get a mom groove. Groove with me now. Hey. Lando Frost, they're a family brand. You're a family. See what I'm getting at? Nissan gave a lucky few the ride of their life in the 2015 Nissan Altima. Where am I going? Where am I going? Nissan Altima. <laughs> with blind spot warning and up to 270 horsepower. Get the ride of your life at your local Nissan store. Lease Altima just $189 per month, plus bonus cash, or choose 0% financing for up to 72 months. Bonus cash ends June 30th. Shop choosenissan.com. Nissan, innovation that excites.
Get THV weather and Ed Buckner's forecast on 105.1 The Wolf. All things country with Bob and Jennifer in the morning. Okay, one quick thing before we get to weather. We're closing beaches because of high E. coli levels, and we need to tell you about that here. Mm -hmm. Some of those closures include Devil's Fork and Sandy Beach, both along Greer's Ferry Lake. The total number of closed swimming areas in the state sits at 14 right now. You know, now. what did it was the recent rain causing those bacteria levels to go up. For the full list of the swim beach closures in the state, head to THV11.com. But there's some good news. Just because a swim beach may be closed, other activities such as camping, hiking, and boating in those areas are not affected by those closures. So at least you could still go out yeah. and do yeah. those things, right? Go camping and deal with the snakes and the spiders and the bugs and the ants. Well, let's not oh. think negative. I mean, I'm not, no, let's I'm not just saying negative. And the alligators and the bears. What no, else should we add to that? <laughs> the Welcome to Arkansas. Of the nature. list goes on and on. Think of how the how you're the just circle of life with the natural setting, <laughs> the natural live. resources. I got the right. good side over here and the bad <laughs> <No>. side. <laughs> yeah, I see a snake. I'm like over here. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at radar real quick. All right. <laughs> Not much going on here tonight. It is very humid, but the skies are mainly clear. Um, but if you go up toward the north, there are some pretty strong thunderstorms across parts of the southern or central plains and into the upper Midwest. High pressure off to the east is actually keeping these storms away from us. So we're going to see another very quiet and tranquil night. Now, speaking of storms up near Chicago, of course, I'm a big Astros fan. Watching the Houston Astros play the Chicago White Sox tonight, my former colleague and former catcher of the Houston Astros, Alan Ashby, took this picture over U.S. Cellular Field. He was broadcasting the game tonight, and they were curious about those clouds. And so I tweeted them. These are Mamatis clouds, usually signifying severe weather. And indeed, they had that tonight near the Chicago area. Of course, the Astros ended up getting to play. I think they're still playing, and of course, they're getting beat again. Anyway, seven-game losing streak. So, uh, 90, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, Craig. They're not the Cardinals. 94, the high today. 88 is the average. 93 coming in from North Little Rock. Again, well above normal. 100, the record high set in 1911. Our yearly rainfall surplus continues to dwindle. And I think it's getting close to the time where we could use a little rain. I see a lot of folks using the water sprinklers and watering the lawn and the flowers. They could need a little rain. And it looks like as we head toward the weekend, we might see that. It's 80 degrees with clear skies. That dew point way up there. Humidity high at 64%. Barely a breeze. Not really much to count there at 3. And the pressure's at 29.83. Around the state, mainly upper 70s. A couple of lower 80s here and there. It's 80 in Arkadelphia, 83 in Fort Smith, 80 in Pine Bluff, 81 in Stuttgart. Central Arkansas, upper 70s. 70, 78 in Benton, 78 in Sheridan. It's 80 over in Hazen, 80 up in Valonia as well. So for the next 48 hours, watch this. Tomorrow, a couple of specs show up, meaning 20% at best that we might see a thunderstorm tomorrow. Most of you will not. It'll be another hot summery day. By Friday, though, the flow of moisture from the Gulf really picks up as that high that I just showed you kind of moves off toward the east, and we're pretty much done with it kind of keeping us dry. Tonight, though, lows in the lower 70s, highs tomorrow in the uh, lower 90s with that 20% chance of rain, 80s by the weekend with better rain chances. Stay with us. We'll be right back. THV 11 closed captioning is sponsored by Everett Infinity of Little Rock. A drive in the country is a great way to enjoy the outdoors. And the Infinity Q6T convertible from Infinity of Little Rock is the perfect car to take you there. Experience premium luxury, a refined interior, and exhilarating performance for the open road. Plus, the power retractable hardtop makes it easy to enjoy the outdoors anytime. Come see us at Infinity of Little Rock and discover the Everett difference. Family owned, customer friendly. The motto of Arkansas was once the land of opportunity. Thanks to you, opportunity still exists. In the past five years, the lottery has generated nearly one half billion dollars for scholarships, benefiting students attending 47 different colleges and universities across the state. And every time you play, you're providing even more opportunity. Thank you for doing that. The Arkansas Scholarship Lottery. Celebrate the opportunities. At Cost Plus Furniture Warehouse, we know you'll spend more time in your new recliner than any other chair in your home. That's why we carry over 70 in our showrooms, all shapes and sizes and colors, so that you can find that perfect fit all at low warehouse prices. Name brands like Lane, Catnapper, Flex Steel, and Ashley. 
starting at only $177. So when you go looking for your new recliner, you'll find it right here. Cost Plus Furniture Warehouse, Little Rock, Malvern, and Jacksonville. I'm Stacy Sales, and I'm a breast cancer survivor. I was in for the fight of my life. I said, time out. If I've got cancer, I'm going to UAMS. I had brilliant medicine that treated me. So every day I wake up, and I thank God for UAMS. They pulled me through. And to be on the other side of cancer, man, it just feels like a new day. We are the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences, and we're here for a better state of health. More than 50 digital billboards are displaying information about two murderers who escaped from a New York prison five days ago. Lamar Advertising donated the billboards to help notify the public and possibly generate new leads. Richard Matt and David Sweat, both convicted murderers, escaped from the Clinton Correctional Facility early Saturday with the use of power tools. The billboard, billboards are across New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania. The suspect in the murder of a University of Virginia co-ed faces up to life in prison if convicted for entering an Alford plea for char charges in a separate case. Jesse Matthew is accused of attacking and molesting a woman in 2005. And that Alford plea means Matthews maintains his innocence, but he knows prosecutors have enough evidence to convict him. It's a form of a guilty plea, but doesn't have an explicit, explicit admission of guilt. Matthew also faces abduction and murder charges in the 2014 death of UVA student Hannah Graham. Not even a week after protesters rally in Little Rock to raise the minimum wage, an ordinance for a California city approves an increase. The minimum wage for Los Angeles will gradually increase to $10.50 by July of next year. Then annually, it increases to $15 by the year 2020. Voters in Arkansas approved a measure raising the state's minimum wage from $6.25 to $7.50. And that's going to go up to $8 by January next year, then to $8.50 by the year 2017. Well, Craig, if you want to see a black bear, you're in luck because the chances of seeing one are on the rise this month all across central Arkansas. This is the season when they all start to come out with normally around 100, 120 sightings per year in Arkansas. But a woman in Lono County had more than a sighting. She was driving to work and hit and killed one. Astrid Solizano has that story. We've lived here since 2012. Amanda Parkinson says what would have been a normal first week of summer vacation. My brother drove by and saw it and tried to wake us up that morning. Began with not so normal news in her neighborhood. We're not used to seeing bears. This 200 pound bear died after a driver hit and killed it on Highway 294 Tuesday morning. To see one in the area was kind of alarming. A woman driving to work took this curve driving at 40 miles an hour. Impact left only a small dent on the right bumper but it was enough to kill the animal. It happened right over here in, in this stretch of highway. Lieutenant Matt Edwards with Lone Oak County Sheriff's sure Office says it's rare to spot them in that area of the county. Most of the time it's been in the um, central part, more towards Carlisle. There are more than 5,000 Arkans and black bears, mostly across northwest Arkansas. As towns grow and they move out, uh, people are starting to move out into bear territory. Then you see nuisance complaints um, on the rise a little bit. Keith Stevens from the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission suggests that if you come across a bear. Just back up, give it some space. Um, it'll, it'll get out of the way or if it's at your house. And Parkinson says she'll definitely give any future bear space. I won't let them be outside for a little bit by themselves. I don't really, that bothers me. Astrid Solorzano, THV 11 News. And by the way, there was a bear sighting reported in Dardanelle just last week. Now, Arkansas Game and Fish Commission says don't leave any type of food or trash outside of your home to keep those bears far, far away from your property. Well, now we got Razorback sightings. We got a <laughs> yeah. plank in the <laughs> All College over World Series. <laughs> that's right. Mm -mm. That's right. But they have Virginia on deck, and yep. that's that's already a lot of pressure. But just the the stadium, a bigger stadium that they're going to be playing, huge crowds, and many people calling the Razorbacks the underdogs. But the Hogs aren't paying no mind. I'm going to fill you in after this. THB 11 Sports is sponsored by Baptist Health System. You're born amazing, but sometimes it takes someone else to complete you. When Annie and Lynn both needed kidney transplants, they found the courage to face it in each other. And with the team at Baptist Health as their partner, their lives and their bond are better than ever. Keep on praising. Keep on cherishing. Keep on amazing. 
Call for an appointment and learn more about Annie and Lynn's story and others at KeepOnAmazing.com. Damaging winds often are the most dangerous part of a thunderstorm, causing tree limbs to knock out power. When the lights go out, your mobile device can be your lifeline to important weather information. Stay alert, charged, and connected to THV11 and THV11.com. Car business has always been a people's business, so I really pride myself on taking care of the customer. We treat you like family. We treat you like you want to be treated. Right now, get over $6,500 off the new 2015 Dodge Journey SXT or up to $12,000 in total package savings on the 2015 Ram Bighorn Plus during the Drive and Discover event. Everybody works hard for their money. I know that. Give us an opportunity. Get our professionals to work with you and get you financed on a new vehicle. The best deals are out here. Right now, Verizon is offering unlimited talk and text, plus 10 gigs of shareable data. Yeah, 10 gigantic gigs for $80 a month and $15 per line. More data than ever for more of what you want on the network that's number one in speed, call, data, and reliability. So you never have to settle. Now also get $300 or more when you trade in your smartphone and buy a new one. Stop by or visit us online and save without settling only on Verizon. Power outages turn your world upside down. You need to know when your power will come back on, and you want to know what happened. The fastest way to stay informed? Entergy text alerts. You'll get prompt updates on when your power will be restored and on what happened. You can even send a text to be sure your outage is being repaired. When the power is out, what's faster than calling? Texting. Sign up today at EntergyText.com. That's the power of people. Entergy. At bat with the Hogs, brought to you by Razorback Campers. Oh, in just three days, the Hogs will be facing off with Virginia in the College World Series. You can catch Game 1 on ESPN Saturday at 2 o'clock. While Omaha is the most intimidating place in college baseball, the team says they're ignoring all the noise and focusing on themselves. We can't really pay attention too much about what everybody else says. You know, we feel good about our team and how we're playing and, you know, um, we just got to keep playing the way we are. We can't change anything or, you know, try to mold to something else. So we're going to just go in there and play hard and, you know, see what happens. Oh, to Dickie Stevens, where the Travs are hosting Springfield. Top of the second, Springfield's Patrick Wisdom with the grounder. The Travs get the Cardinals runner out at third, but a runner will still come home. Top three now, Springfield threatening again. Travs throw out the runner at first. But Springfield's Charlie Tilson runs on home. Springfield jumps out to an early three to nothing lead. However, Arkansas rallies bottom three. Ray Willie Gomez singles to center field. That plates Sherman Johnson, but it isn't enough. It's looking like the Travs might lose this one. They're trailing six to five in the bottom of the ninth right now. The Junior Deputy Baseball League has been a training ground for future Arkansas baseball stars since 1947, but there's only one person who's been running the third baseline for almost five decades. Right here. When it comes to Little League ball. Right here, fellas. Coaches are everything. Get up there to hit. Come on, get up there to hit. He helps us. Get ready. Correcting even the little things. Get your shoes tied over there. Get ready to score. Junior deputy coach Tom Butler continues to help Little Rock's youth as they dig deep and realize their potential. Maddox, come here. Hustle. Teaching them and trying to get them to realize what they can do. Butler has been training with kids across the state longer than any other junior deputy coach. Tagging on the fly. Next thing I know, it's 48 years and I'm 72. The recently retired vice chancellor of UAMS has been giving back ever since. As soon as that ball hits, you ought to be running every time. My wife says it's because I like to teach, I guess. About five days a week, about seven months a year. Butler always coaches 9, 10, 11, and 12-year-olds. I don't think ball. Thanks, strike. While he has an old school approach. When you miss it, that's two more runs. If you had to come off the bag, you could have saved two runs, okay? He's kind of hard. For the most part, they they respond. They've got to learn that they've got to to get something. You've got to you've got to work for it. All the kids say he is the reason they continue to improve. How has he made you better? I'm practicing. He makes us smarter by telling us where to throw the ball when we're in outfield. For Butler, watching them grow as people is what keeps him coming back. That's it. But as far as retiring from the diamond, I'm getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm getting tired. One year into his actual retirement, Butler says he has some time to make up his mind. You know, I'll take it year by year now. My wife doesn't, I don't think she really wants me to retire. Since I've retired from work, she, she thinks this is good for me. Butler says right now his oldest former player is 60 years old. One final note, Arkansas native and Minnesota twin star Tory Hunter was thrown out of his game against Kansas City for melting down and throwing parts of his uniform onto the field. You can find it all over Twitter. I just tweeted it. Stick around. We'll be right back. Hey, new RAV4. Where are you off to? Camping, caving, meteor shower, homecoming, Mardi Gras, teacher conference, fly fishing, base camp, herping, searching for amphibians. Oh. The 2015 Toyota RAV4. With more features and more tech, you're ready for anything. Right now, get $1,000 customer cash or drive the adventurous 2015 RAV4 LE for only $199 a month. Toyota, let's go places. All right, come on, everybody. Getting more for your money is simpler than you might think. When you shop at Kroger, you get low prices throughout the store, weekly specials, great value from our quality brands, digital coupons, and even fuel points to help you save at the pump. No spin, just savings. The Buy 5, Save 5 sale is on now. Mix and match items like Coke, Doritos, Cottonelle bathroom tissue, and more. Great food, low prices at Kroger. We can't save too much money because we are in debt. Working with somebody at the bank is different. I don't really know what they can help us with. We're hoping to get a little guidance with buying a house, and also just what to do financially. The Insights by Regions helped me see how we can save and pay off our debt at the same time and why we would want to do that. I feel so much better knowing that everything's taken care of. I'm so ready to take our next step. Finally, a delicious pecan chicken salad sandwich, just like Mom used to make when Mom was the Arby's Employee of the Month. Arby's, we have the meat. You know, Riser Ford and Riser Nissan are in Hot Springs. But did you know, RiserAuto.com is anywhere and everywhere you need us to be. Looking for a new F-150 or maybe a Nissan Altima? You'll find both at riserauto.com. You can make service appointments, get the value of your trade, and even get instant credit approval. Riserauto.com is here for you. It's that simple. Check it out for yourself at riserauto.com. Somebody took our umbrella. And we Somebody the show. took the umbrella. We are giving oh, you away mean the umbrella. The umbrella. Yeah, it's over there in the weather. It's track. a sign that it's not going to rain. <laughs> well, I we're, wish it was that easy. We're giving away yeah. umbrellas Friday night at Dickie Stevens Park, TSP night at Travelers. So first <laughs> thousand. But somebody, I'd like to show it to you. But somebody well, take a look at the forecast. I'll go get it. Here's, here's the extended outlook. Here's the umbrellas. There you see it. Okay, y'all read the extended to them. It's, um, it's going to be hot. Hot. hot very 93 hot. with a chance <laughs> of rain. <laughs> And you'll need this over the weekend Again, because the rain here. chances do go up a little bit. All right. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. And right. you can use it for shade. So it's a, if it's a pretty be. cool umbrella. Oh, oh, that is bad luck. He's, you know what he's doing? Oh, I don't believe he's in that. He's letting you stand under his umbrella. Ella. 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 This is a. bad luck. Is anybody no, else noticing you don't, that? you don't believe in All that. All right. Do you? If something ha bad happens, just remember who opened the umbrella. You saw it. I feel Inside. Like, I feel like yep. you should stand. Spin it around. Mary Poppins. Yeah, there you go. Remember the news always on THP11.com. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Silicon Valley technology without the high cost of living. Here at Academy Sports and Outdoors, we've heard it all before. Oh, you don't need to give me anything for Father's Day. And you don't have to get me anything. Or I already have enough stuff. But we know what they really mean. So you can shop with confidence because of our everyday low prices. 
And give Dad the Father's Day you know he wants. So write some the low price every day. If you can't work due to accident, injury, or illness, it can be hard to see the right move. Luckily, there's someone on your side ready to help. I've got it. Experts in personal injury, workers' compensation, and Social Security benefits. At the Wren Law Firm, we've got your back. Checkmate. Just call 523-1000 and we'll handle the rest. Wren Law Firm, 523-1000. Frankly, I'm not very good at games. He really isn't. That's why I got him the new Maximum Money Game Pack from the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery. Play five games on one card with 60 chances to win up to $250,000. The Maximum Money Game Pack. Five games, one card. New from the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery. Celebrate the opportunities. It's so easy. Just scratch. Mm -mm. Silicon Valley technology without the high cost of living. Congratulations to the Razorbacks for making it to the College World Series. Tonight on the Late Late Show, Jurassic World stars Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, and Jake Johnson. Plus, Tony Rexton. In the movie, I played Chris's brother. Tonight. I spoke with responding officers. Landlord came by here to pick up the rent. Saw him and turned right around. Tenant's name is Jack Smith. He lived alone. Sounds like a throwaway name. Let me guess. Paid all cash. No ID on file. Lifestyles of the broken anonymous. This place.